Hello and welcome to Imagine Earth. This is a, a colony building game being developed by Sirius Brothers. It's been in development for a very long time and on early access over on Steam. It's supposed to be hitting full release though sometime at the end of this year. Uh, but the whole idea here is we are in charge of this intergalactic corporation. Our job is to go around and colonize planets. Throwing out uh, people and mining and fishing and, and basically just building an entire uh, planet up. City building style. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot going on here. We have, you know, disasters, and we have to take care of the ecology, and there's the competitors out there as well. Uh, but I thought we should take a look at it, and see what it's all about. So, we're gonna do a free play today, which is basically we just get a planet and just play the game. I'm gonna show off the campaign mode real quick, because it kind of gives you an idea of what is happening here. Welcome to Imagine Earth LTD. Your job as a space colony manager is to explore and populate distant worlds. So there we go. Yeah, like I just said. So it kind of takes us through like a tutorial and, and, you know, colonizing planets and doing all that. Anyway, let's go to free play and try it out. Free sector of the universe. Build your civilizations according to your maxims and ideas. All right, so new game. And let's choose our planet. We have Gindan is the name of our planet. Sure. Uh, can I get something different? Melmac, even better. So Melmac here is a very uh, is a very barren planet. You can see here. We can select whatever we want. A frozen world. We can go with a jungle world. Uh, maybe a volcanic world is even more exciting. Um, it's kind of ugly. Actually, you know, that's it's got a certain kind of charm to it, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go with this one. Um, now we can see the temp temperatures. We can adjust. We can adjust the land mass. We can adjust the uh, how much polar ice is in here. We can change all kinds of things here if we want. I'll add a little bit of everything just to add some, you know, exciting things. Maybe a little less dry lands. Um, now we can have competitors in here. We are going to be somebody, a race of people that have certain abilities. Uh, we can be the the Vulcans here who do science and and things like that. We got faster tech. We've got the robot folks, better trade. We got the uh, the, the moles who do mining and things. Um, all kinds of different folks here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the fish people, because they can build things. They start out with the ocean districts. districts. They can build in the oceans, which seems exciting. Um, and we're going to do, I think we'll do two competitors. We will take robot folks, and we'll take, sure, her. You, uh, you're aggressive, expansive, and you're cooperative trader. Maybe we should take you off and go with someone like, um, what are they? Oh, it doesn't say. Uh, what are they? Oceanist, scientist, sustainable. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with, we'll keep them, and we'll, we'll add the, the, the Vulcans in there. Okay, so, game rules. We can mess with all this stuff. I'm going to kind of leave it how it is. We have tech licenses. We'll see all that when we get in here. Um, and all the different events we can have, like tornadoes, and, and asteroids, and space pirates, and all kinds of exciting things. Um, yeah, ruins, native cities. Let's do this. I am, I am Noodleless, is the name of my company. And, um, Yeah. Let's do it. Ta-da! Okay, here is my plan. Now, first, to begin, we must select where we're going to land. Um, I don't know if the competitors have landed yet. They should, will be landing very soon. Um, but around here, who's that? That is a great Illuminati pyramid. You can see that on the bottom left. We have a great desert around here. We've got dry lands. This seems like a little more exciting down this way. So in here, we've got uh, Subtrope, Lamellus, dry lands. We want sort of something that's a little more Nitro Pumpkin. Um, oh, there they go. They're landing right now. I thought I had it paused. There we go. Let's pause this. Um, oh, I guess I can't zoom in and, and have it paused. Very slow. So somebody just landed over there to go colonize. I want a spot where we can build our city and have, uh, you know, some districts around it. Uh, we want water. We want trees. We want, uh, we want a fusion reactor ruin nearby. Um, two of them. Um, uh, three of them, apparently. There's a giant volcano here. I mean, that seems like a good place to start. Let's do that. So we got deserts around. We got savannas, and uh, this may not be a good spot, but I'm thinking maybe we go like right in here. We are fish people, so we could like build like here on the coast and sort of work our way around that. That might be a thing. Not near like rocks, but maybe like um, maybe like right here. This might be good. Like right here. Can I build right there on the coast? Let's go. So we're gonna go make some urban development. We're gonna land our city center. Right here. Oh, I can't write there. Uh, right. Hmm. Right here. Sure, we got fish around. We got some plants. Yeah, we got a volcano nearby. New Adlicon. Um, sure, sure. No, 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 no. New Nookstone is the name of my planet. All right, and here he comes. To land. 
It's very exciting. Very exciting. Yes. Here he comes. Doing the old flip. Pick up the pace here a little bit. And... Okay, we have a city center. Now we have an area here that we can build. And we can do... What is that back there? Gold deposit. Okay, excellent. So we've got a city center here. This is, this is my town square, essentially. Um, we've got some rhizome poorlings, which I believe count as trees in this planet. I haven't played on this one. I've only played on a Terran planet before. Um, but around this place, we want to build in people. We need power. We need food. We need uh, goods. We also need some sort of things to sell to make cash. The whole point here is to make cash. I'm not sure why campaign is still up there. Um, so let's go first off to get some power. So we're going to throw in, we're going to come in here on the radio menu, go to the power menu, and grab a wind farm. We start with the ability to make wind farms. We can buy tech licenses to allow me to make whatever I want. We can say, let's say we want oil platforms instead. We can buy a license for that to learn how to make those. But we've got a license for wind farms right now. Let's go ahead and just do that um, and place them somewhere here. We put them on the coast. They actually do a little better. Hey, you leave me alone, buddy. Um, like over... I don't know if I want to put it here on the coral, though. Um... Yeah, it's fine. 90, per, 90 power for sitting on that spot. So let's put them over there. Yeah, I guess it's it's early access still, right? So we got some cash here. We've got um, colony shares. We'll see that in a minute. So he's going to go over there and build my wind farm, which gives us some power. Now we need food. So same thing. Pop up radio menu. Get some food. We have sea farms. We already know the tech of how to make those. We can do things like cows and organic farms and fish. Um, how about a sea farm? So a sea farm we can throw in right here. You can see we're going to get 47 food for putting it there. Um, 48 if we put it on here, next to all these fish. Let's do that. Okay, so we get some food cranking in there. That's not quite done yet. Let me pick up the speed here. And there we go. So now we got power. Plenty of power. That'll bring us some food. We'll have plenty of food. Now we need some goods. Uh, people like variety. Um, I can't really tell my pip how happy people are, but not, they're not real happy right now because they're missing some goods. They need something to, uh, some, like wood and building materials, things like that. So let's go for the goods. And let's grab, we can do a mine, there's rocks around, we can do a stone quarry, we can do uh, wood with those those fungus that are nearby. Um, let's go with, um, yeah, let's chop some trees. So we can't put them on the trees, but we can put them uh, next to the trees. Uh, we have to buy a license, yeah, I'll buy that. Use one of my license points for that. Um, so it'll, it'll chop these uh, these mushrooms down and give us some, some, uh, some wood. That's 43, 43 right there, that's pretty good. Let's do that right there. Chop those trees down. I can buy, expand my borders. You can see my borders here. I can expand them. Um, how's the competitors doing? Let's take a look. Where are you guys at? You guys are over here. You? Oh, you're next to that Illuminati pyramid. Okay, okay. You got two of them. What do they do for you? Construction holds technology in which Gaia energy can be condensed from planetary force fields. Enables the selective release of unexplored forces. I think I should have gotten one of those, it sounds like. Yeah. And the, uh, the, the um, Vulcans are over here next to a volcano as well, which will probably blow up. And they also have a, they have a pyramid, too. I need a pyramid. All right, so back to my, my place. Uh, we need people. We have timber coming in now because we've got uh, that working. Um, you can see the green means good things. The red means it's, it's basically taking trees away is what's going on. Um, let's go and build up a, um, a place for people. So we have urban development. We have... Ocean districts. So we can actually build here in the ocean. My people will come and live here. There we go. Pop it down. We've got... Um, where's my people number? It's over... Here. we got a housing space of 125,000. I have 115. You can kind of see it behind that number there. So people are coming in and living here. We can upgrade this. Microplastics containers. Clean the seas and recover goods by filtering floating plastics. It gives us more goods. It also gives us 100% of the ecology rate uh, the emissions balance so we want to keep that good we don't want to destroy the planet right we can we can have like ecological disasters and completely wreck this entire place so you got to kind of balance out uh being a friend of the environment so i'm going to go in and put in here another city district right here we're kind of we want to build sort of around this guy uh we can also do ocean thermal what was that ocean thermal energy conservation which just makes this use less power we can do both of them. Um, how much is this? 400 bucks? Yeah, I'll do that. And you? I can't build you yet. So now we've got two districts. They're both level one districts next to this guy, which means 
he can level up. He needs two uh, districts nearby, two points worth of districts. So we're not going to upgrade this guy for a level two district, which will expand our borders. And we've got some uh, some minerals over here. Which, speaking of minerals, we need some goods. So let's make a mine. Um, I think maybe over here we can get. I'm going to go with like a, just a regular old mine. Get a license. Um, and I think I think right here's probably the best spot. Um, what is that? That was like green stuff. Let's put it. Let's just stash it here. Is there anything better? That's 40 no matter what. They're buying things over there. Um, there is, uh, you can be aggressive in here. We can buy guns, we can, like, blast our opponents away if we want to. I've, this game's been out forever, and I somehow have missed this one. I don't know how. Of all the games I play, you think this would be one of the ones that I would, would be aware of. <laughs> so, I guess I'm out of the loop. Um, thank you to the devs for sending me a key, by the way. Um, so, we can go and mine things with our mine. We can select what we want to mine. Actually, with a mine, we have to have a warehouse to store all the stuff. So I'm going to throw in a infrastructure in a warehouse. We can get space ports to carry things away. Uh, maintenance stations. Let's get a warehouse going and just pop it down. Um, I think right here is fine. I mean, what's the chances that a volcano is going to erupt? What's the chances? We can do an investigation. Volcanoes may erupt from time to time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, mining fossil fuels is a problem. Okay, let's go investigate. We got some cash over there. Now we've got these. I haven't missed this with this, with this yet. We have research. So research is going to be well. You know, we know how research works. Uh, we can go in and we can say, I can upgrade my my um, my food my wood factory. Make sure nearby forests grow larger and give higher production. Sure, I'll take it. Um, we can say that buffs that buffs the cattle farm. I want something that's going to help me out. Um, anything with a wind farm here? Coal power plant? No. Greenhouse. Industrial farm, wood factory, automation of the wood processing optimizes the yield and increases the product range. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, this one will allow me to make financial districts in my towns. It's just an upgrade to my towns that are nearby. Uh, better warehouses. Sure, I'll take those. Level three city levels. Sure, fire stations. That seems like a good thing to have. Green facades to make people happy and see uh, things. Uh, see green stuff. Hospitals. I'll take that one too. We got. We'll, we'll save the rest. What's that? Oh, groundwater protection from mine. Yeah. We want that. Sure, okay, enough of that. And now, I like how you guys just like rocks floating around here, and they will eventually crash into the planet and cause all kinds of problems. Uh, we have a fire over here. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and extinguish that. Are we making money? We are making money. Okay, good. It's looking pretty good. I think we're doing alright on that. Uh, it looks like beer and Nix. The robot folks are a little bit uh, destroying things, but we're taking care of things. We're doing alright. we got a lot of forest here. People like that. Um, you want... Oh, I'm, I even paid attention to my power and my, my food is terrible. Um, wind lens does what? Modification creates low pressure zones behind the blade creating greater wind. Sure. Wait, let's more wind pass through. Um, I'm going to make another wind farm too. Put that one there. And then I want to put in more food, which I think I can get... They really want diversity with food, but they can deal. Um, I can stick it right there for 38. Is that the best? There's 44 back over... Well, that's that's used. 41. It's kind of my wind farm place. Yeah, it's fine. What is this? There's a meteor coming in. Ah! There's a volcano! Ah! A volcano is erupting. I'm glad it's not mine. <laughs> there's a meteor coming in a minute and a half. That's a problem. Um, okay. So we're looking good. Everyone's happy now. We've got food. We've got energy. We have goods coming in. We don't have a spaceport yet. We want that so we can sell our stuff. So let's place down a spaceport. Uh, and I guess I'm going to throw it over here. It seems like a decent spot for it. And we're going to take these goods. We've got timber. We have iron. We don't have really anything else. Um, we have this mine. I can tell it to go ahead and mine things. We should go ahead and do that. So he'll go work on this mine and grab whatever this is. You know what it is? Titanium. We could eventually sell that stuff. Um, or use it for whatever else. If we want to build, like, we can claim more land. We can do that, too. We've got corals over here. What do corals do? Do I have any? Sponge fungus. I can, oh, I can log it. That's what it is. It's wood. What are you? You're corals as well. A rare renewable resource. They are damaged by pollution and grow faster through adjacent aquatic plants. Medical substance required for medicine. I do these bonus things. I can do a city level kit, which allows me just to boost up a city. It's like a free thing and make it a higher level. I also do scanners if I want to go and do some geological surveying. Um, let's go make another 
urban development here. So we have learned how to make financial districts. Security complex. Let's put a financial district in. Um, oh, I thought I did. Maybe I haven't. Um, no, we'll do a basic one. Right there. Okay, and then you. Can I upgrade you any? Energy efficient construction. That's tech stuff we need to find. Again, this guy has two of three. He's got two points right here next to him. He needs one more city district and he'll be upgraded. Uh, excuse me? What are you doing here? Are you in my land? How do you how do I, how do I get how'd you get in here? Get out of my spot! Can I tell him to get out? Oh, I didn't know they could build in my land. How do I um I'm not gonna donate it to you. It's his city district. Allow you to use their land when they make an agreement, but they will take it back when they get angry. Hmm, I'm not happy with you landing there. What is this over here? That's my spaceport. Yeah, it looks different than I'm used to. Oh, there's a, there's a ship there. Okay, so ships every once in a while come in, traders come in, and they want to buy and sell your things. This guy, I'm too slow. He decided to leave before I could finish talking. I can buy and sell things from him if I want, uh, but he doesn't seem to uh, want to do <laughs> to do that. So um, over here, we can automate our um, our buying and selling, kind of. We can sell timber and ironware. I'm going to mark it to where I don't want everything. Um, can I mark this a little bit? We can market to just auto-sell things if we want. Here's another trader. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, you. I want to talk. All right, so we've got this guy. Let me pause it real quick before he disappears. All right. So he would like... I could buy bombs from him um, to make things blow up. Mm, interesting idea. I can buy an extra city-level kit to make my... You know, like I have in there. Scanners. We've seen those before. Medicine. Explosive devices. Immediate blasting of mountains, rocks, and buildings, and ruins in your area to, to make room. Um, I can sell him some shellfish. I have some of that. I can sell him some wind power. I will sell you some titanium, sir. There you go. Um, I will sell you some shellfish as well. Okay. And I... I kind of want to see what... I, this is for mining. Sabotage hack. Hacks production buildings within a small area. Incident causes damage. Damages the buildings and leads temporary loss of production. A bomb is expensive. Clear four fields at once. Disintegrating, disintegrating big mountains and makes dom dormant volcanoes active. Oh, that's dirty. We can put that on our uh, our enemies over here. Now, let's see. What we can do in our districts here. We can do ocean thermal. Yeah, we have that one already? No, we have the other one. Let's get that one, which helps the environment a bit. Um, we're doing good. We're actually making pretty good money here. Um, we have plenty. We got seven more licenses we can buy. They can grow as time goes on. Is this where it's going to land? Don't land there. I don't want it. I don't want it to land on me. Now, as time goes on, we only have one city right now, but we can get more. Uh, as time goes on, we'll be able to make another one. As we get eight hundred thousand people, we will unlock the ability to get another city on this planet. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. I'm going to build another district right here. Let's do a um, financial one. Throw it there, and then we can chop these trees and get them out of the way if we want to. It's going to hurt our environmental impact, of course, our emission balance. Um, but, you know, sacrifices must be made to make our city a little bit better. Let's go ahead and uh, let's examine that vegetation just in case. 3000 bucks, Just in case there's something exciting there. Um, we're also only getting one kind of food, right? We're only, only getting... Um, oh, from the sea farm. Oh, I didn't do... Hang on, let me upgrade you. Let me see. Not you, but you. Shellfish cultivation. Which, uh, shellfish breeding increases food production, creates great environmental pollution. We can also get a smokehouse, which makes them last longer. I think it just gives us more food. So I'll do both of those. What do we care about the environment? We're just fish people. Did it did it crash over here? Did I miss that? I must have missed it crashing into the place. Let's go ahead and... Now, if I tell it to mine, we're already mining this one. Oh, it's gone. Okay, let's go mine that. Remediate the soil on the plant forest to stop desertification. Okay. No, we're not going to deal with that. That's kind of... That's a very big part... Oh, there's... Most of those minerals are gone. You can see the bars on the side over there. Let's go mine... Oh, what is this? Fusion reactor. Yeah, build that. Let's mine this idiom. This is some good stuff. This is some high-selling stuff. We can make bombs out of it if we want to. There's gold deposit over here also. Uh, we're a little low on goods. So people want things... What do you have over here? Scanners. I can sell you... A Gaia container. Charge with Gaia Engine. New form of energy gathers, condenses. Where do I get that from? 
Super fertilizer. I don't want any of your stuff. No thanks. What's this over here? This is you again? Are these, um... I'm not sure. Maybe they're... I'm not sure what to do with them. Gaia container. Charged with Gaia energy. What's it do? Can be used to power temples of life. Where energy unleashed can be carded in supernatural miracles. Or can be sold. So if I put it, like, over here, will I make this all fertile land? Possible. Oh, with temples. I can put it in the temple. I see, I see. There's no temples nearby, is there? I don't think I have anything near. There's, there's these guys again. Fusion reactor. We got this reactor going up, right? What's up with this? When your building was destroyed, explosions. Ah! Stop that. None of that. Um. Can I upgrade you? Yes, I'll go ahead and upgrade you. You're a financial district, which I can make you new things if I get some new texts from you. Um, I can probably level you up real soon. And where are we at? What's our net worth here? We're nowhere near what we need to. We're like halfway there. Sometimes we get traders that will actually offer us licenses to go and sell that stuff uh, or to give us a new district. But we need more goods. So let's go ahead and get a machine factory we can use to make robots. Um, let's just get a stone quarry for right now. And I think we can get... Some good stone somewhere. I think it just gets, I guess just anywhere, actually. 44 over here from these rocks. So yeah, we'll throw it right there. Give us a few more goods to uh, for the people and to sell. Uh, and again, we can set this thing up to um, company or dealer offering this resource at best price. Oh, okay. I see how it's going. How, how are we doing? Let's let's take a look at these guys. So there's a robot, folks. We know they're over here. They are very big. Sort of, and can you get in my territory? Um, let's see here. There's things I can get. It's, you know, it's not you, but there are other districts that I can make that are pretty powerful. And so let's say I want to go and build... I'm going to build another ocean district right here. And let's build another one. Let's go ocean district. I want... Um, yeah, right there. I would like you... You've got both of those things. Good. Let's crank up the number of people here. Um, we ever figure out what's in here? Toadstool Forest grows very fast. Tearing it down may not be the best thing. We can examine this one. This is a rhizome poorlings. There's someone coming in the land to trade. How's our miner doing? He's still grabbing? Yeah, still grabbing that stuff. Um, so I would like to sell you well, nothing, apparently. You don't want any of my stuff. I don't have a lot of money. I'm broke, actually. We are very, we're very broke. Now, what we can do, uh, it's up here. We can actually sell parts of our colony. We can sell shares of our colony to other folks. Like that. It makes some cash. We can also buy from other people, too, if we wanted to. We have people on the planet here. Now, if we're in the campaign mode, of course, we go kind of planet to planet. This is free mode. There's also a, a sandbox mode where you sort of you craft the planet and place down whatever you want. Uh, yeah, there's a, really a ton here that I, I'm completely unaware of. Let's make a fishery. Do I have money for this? 45. That seems pretty good. Let's get some food in there. And of course, we can sell the food off. Um, we have berries from somewhere. We need more power, so we can upgrade our power plants. For life expectancy, I don't care about. But I do care about the wind license. There we go. That won't be enough, probably. Let's get another farm in here. Now we can do something else. We have a fusion reactor down here that we broke. Um, are you actually working? Can I make you work? Oh, lithium shortage. Where do we get lithium? Oh, you want lithium in order to work, do you? What are you? You're just rocks. We don't know what you are. Solar farm. Ruin. Oh, yeah. Rebuild that. Completely missed that. There's a uranium deposit over here. We can go mine. I will, uh, yeah, let's mine that. Um, oh, maybe not. It is apparently all gone. So now, solar farm is up and running. There we go. We got plenty of power now. We're a little short on uh, these resources, which again, we can mark as how much we want to sell. So we can say something like that. So when we come and auto sell things, it'll take it away up to that point. Um, there's a tech license we could buy if we had money or some free research. Uh, landing permission, if we don't have, we're waiting for the 800,000, we can just buy one here and go build a second city on this planet. And then we can kind of zoom out and, and bounce around to other cities. Remediation helps clean some things up. Um, I think it's a good place to call it a day, though. 
this is Imagine Earth. It's available on Steam. It's been there for a long time. I was looking at this earlier, and I saw Splattercat had a video on this four years ago. So it's been in development for uh, ages. What are you crying about? Oh, you money. You're right, right. I can't do that because I don't have any money. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's call it a day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see, I'll see you next time.